Um, the most impactful thing that we're doing is we are trying to change attitudes towards IT refresh. Um, IT refresh, well, IT is responsible for a huge amount of embodied carbon and also critical raw materials. Um, and at the moment, the recycling technologies are not there um, to recover those materials. And of course, you get none of the carbon back. Um, so our organisation is trying to quantify that and chart a path towards greater circularity of that IT equipment. Um, so we do that on, internally, we do that with product life extension. Externally, we work with research partners to try and quantify the materials that's in server storage and networking, and that data is not there on the tables currently. So we're working with other organizations to find that out. And the final piece of work that we're doing is that we are proving the energy efficiency of refurbished hardware and remanufactured machines by measuring that. Um, loads of benefits. Um, for our customers, we always highlight that there's a huge cost benefit in being more sustainable with the way that you refresh IT hardware, not just in purchase cost, but also in running costs. If you know what you're doing, you analyze what you're doing. Um, but there are other huge benefits as well. If you want to supply to the public sector, if you want to supply to FTSE 100 listed companies, if you want to supply to anybody with investors, they are going to ask you what you're doing with your sustainability. Um, and how well you're measuring scope one, two and three and what you're doing on the social side as well. Uh, aside from that, there are benefits in recruitment, um, attracting talent, attracting young talent. Sustainability seems to be increasingly up there. Uh, the biggest challenge for us is finding data and finding accurate information in our sector is because it hasn't been there um, and that has been a challenge for us to try and work with people to find out what's in this equipment um, and also internally to find out what our scope one, two and three emissions are. You know, just simple things like trying to source energy bills over nine sites with different countries when sometimes it's factored into the rent, sometimes it's paid independently is a challenge. Um, and it's something that is intimidating, but I don't know, I was talking to somebody the other week and it's just like getting into a hot bath. You kind of have to ease yourself in there and you find that once you start, it becomes a virtuous circle and it becomes an enjoyable process and not always successful, but you get there in the end.